Hi, it's Anne from The Useless Crafter. So I'm doing a product review today on the Stitch Happy Pen. And I normally do not do product reviews because um, everything that I buy, I end up using a lot. And then you kind of see how I use it, which therefore means I like the product. <laughs> but this one I bought, I just got it and I'm it's so disappointing that I want to do a product review so you guys can understand how to use this thing. Well, if you end up using it, if you end up buying it. Here's the deal. It comes with these instructions that are so poorly written, I could not figure out how to even get this pen started. So I had to watch a bunch of YouTube tutorials yesterday to figure out how to do this. So you can basically, this, you can toss because it was worthless. Um, <laughs> I'm useless, but that is useless in a bad, bad way. All right, so here's your little pen or your stitching tool. It comes with these two little like thin wire needles almost. I'm not really sure what you call them, but I'm putting this here so that you can kind of see. They're really thin like wires. Um, this one I took off the, the tape because I thought I was supposed to because I had no idea what I was doing, but you should keep it on, okay? So what you're gonna do is, the one that still has it on, I'm gonna show you. So, what you need to do is, sorry, I took this apart. For, you have to take this little thread, wire thread, okay? It needs to go up this hole in the needle. So the hole is pretty big, you're gonna just jam it up there and it's gonna go pretty easily. It's gonna pop up on this side through this hole, okay? And I'm just going to, I'm gonna tighten up my spool. So give me a second, I'm just gonna tighten this up a little bit so we don't have all this loose thread. And you're gonna loop the thread through this little, through the wire, because that's gonna drag it down through this tool for you. Otherwise, you will not be able to do it. All right, so I'm gonna thread it through the hole, through the wire, okay? And I'm just gonna pull it aside so that I don't lose the thread. And now you're gonna take it back down. So now the thread is, now you've threaded the tool, okay? So, um, now, you still want it, I'm gonna cut off so that we have a strong piece of thread. You don't want one that's like starting to unravel, okay? So I'm just gonna cut this off. You need to thread it through. There's one more hole in this big needle, okay? So again, you're gonna put the thread through this hole of your wire thread needle <laughs> that you're going to now, so you see it's in between, and now you're going to bring it through the hole down here. So hold on, let me see it. And it's going across, okay? So, and it's not going right now. So let me hold it tighter and see if I can get it in and it's not going in. So you know what? I'm just going to <laughs> do what grandmas do, right? Like I'm gonna stick it in my mouth and I'm going to thread it through this hole. The hole is pretty big. So yeah, that was a lot easier. Okay, so now your tool is ready, okay? You've got the thread coming from up here all the way through the machine, through the tool. It goes down and then it goes through another hole kind of like horizontally, okay? It comes with this little tool right here to hold your paper. So this is kind of cool, although I don't know what I'm gonna use it for, assuming that I keep this thing. Um, basically it holds your paper. So let me grab a cardstock sheet of paper. Right. 
So let's say we want to stitch this. We're gonna put this down. We're gonna put this on top and it will hold this paper in place, okay? It also comes with stencils, a few stencils. So what you would do is, let me see if you could see that. So that's love, right? It has all the holes so you know where to punch through. So what you would do is you would put it down, you would take your pencil and you would mark where you would put the holes. Um, honestly, I, I am shocked that they were able to get any videos and any pictures of a finished project because it just did not work for me. I, I, I'm gonna try, you know what? I'm gonna try thinner paper while we're doing this video to see. I only did this paper yesterday. So all you need to do at this point is you're gonna need to start threading punching holes so I'm gonna punch the first one and you see how it it stays down so now I still have thread I'm gonna go do the next hole and I'm super careful right now because did you see that it popped up so there's nothing holding it down so while I got a couple holes in here. I got one, two, three, three holes. The fourth one didn't stay in. I can try to redo it. So I did and it stays in, right? But look what happens. Okay. So I'm going to, I'm still being very gentle and careful. See that one popped up and look what happens. Oh, nothing's holding it down. The whole thing comes apart. It's so frustrating. So I'm going to do a few again. Okay. I'm going to cut this off so that you can see and i'm going to stop before it unravels so i'm going to maybe do i'm going to go for three that's two and that's three okay <laughs> i was about to curse on on camera okay i'm gonna do two one two but i feel like i need one more to show you i'm gonna try it again that one started to come out. Okay, it is what it is. I'm going to cut it out. I'm gonna take it out of this thing to show you what it looks like. So what you're supposed to do at this point is, you see how the holes are right there? You need to tighten them. So you're supposed to pull it through so that you're, okay. And then you're supposed to tape it down. That's how it stays because there's really nothing holding it down. It's really not threading anything. I think I would do a better job if I actually just took a needle through this thing right now. So this is what would happen. You would get one stitch, because that's all I'm able to do so far, and I would tape this down. It comes with tape, but honestly, I don't understand why we can't just use regular tape at this point. So I'm gonna just use my masking tape, okay? And that's what keeps your, your stitches in place. So I've got one. I mean, you saw me do that. It's ridiculous. It doesn't work. And so, and um, yeah, I'm, I, I don't even know how someone could possibly even do a pattern. It's craziness. This is just, I, please tell me if I'm wrong and post your projects or comments or whatever, but I feel as if I've done everything like I'm supposed to, not according to this because this was completely ridiculous. I don't know how they got this picture with all this threading and then they just tape it down. I mean, first of all, the taping down sounds ridiculous to me, but, um, oh, you know what? We were going to do it on thinner paper. So Hold that thought. Let me see if I can get thinner paper and we're going to try it. Um, I'm going to find something thinner and I think what I'm going to do is, sorry, I didn't really think about this. I'm going to pull a really thin sheet and see if that works better, okay? And if that's the case, that's still not worth it. Um, okay, just me complaining. All right, let's try it on here. Nope, I couldn't even get the, I got one down. I'm not 
that starts to come up. So it's not, so the thinner paper isn't strong enough to hold the paper, to hold the thread in. So let me try another one. not the best example since it's going to be white on white but you'll be able to see the holes actually so let's see if this works yeah so this paper is strong enough to hold the thread down okay so this works a lot better with thicker paper ah So you see like it works a little bit so I got one two three four five six seven seven down before it starts to unravel so that I mean that looks good I like that but how am I gonna get anything of any kind of project done this is so now I need to make sure that we tape this right so let me tape it where did I just put my masking tape oh, right here and let's see. Okay. Okay, so the tape keeps it in place, but it's not pretty. I need to make that, like, I need to pull that down a little bit more to make it, um, to not have so much slack right there. But honestly, this was a lot of work. And I only got this much done. And there's no way I'm gonna stitch Maribel's uh, skirt from Encanto. <laughs> so, all right. I, I'm so frustrated with this tool. And I wanna say it was maybe $30. Now you know how I feel. All right. I'll see you guys next time. Thank you. <laughs> I'll be in a better mood. <laughs> Bye.